Hello YouTube Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper and we're down in southwestern Virginia. We're at a buddy's hunting camp, he's got his old Jeep out here. And we're going to shoot some video today with the Bug Out Bag Radio using Chameleon Antennas, HF Loop Antenna with the high efficiency loop that you see there around the Bug Out Bag. We're going to set the antenna up, put up here on the top of the Jeep and see if we can send and receive some HF email. So let me pause here, get this set up and see how it works. Alright guys, I backed up here so you can see the antenna sit on the Jeep to give you some perspective. It took about 10 minutes to set up the antenna and of course connect up the HF radio to the antenna and set up the HF data modem. And we're already picking up signals on the 40 meter band. So what I'll do here is I'll power up the laptop and see if we can't connect to some of the email gateway nodes that I typically show on the channel and send and receive some HF email. Well, there we have it guys. It took three different stations till I finally got a connection, but we're now connected to a station in New York from southwestern Virginia, running 5 watts on chameleon antennas, HF loop antenna with the high efficiency radio there, and we're running PacTor 3 speeds with some QRM or interference in the background, but we have a solid connection, and that's good enough to send and receive HF email from here in the field at my buddy's hunting camp. I have to say I'm very impressed with this antenna and every time I've tried to use it in the field I've been able to connect to one or more of my HF radio email nodes with the bug out bag radio running only 5 watts. So we're going to try a few more connections here and see if we can find some space to set up the wire antenna that Chameleon Antenna was kind enough to send to us and see if we can connect to some HF stations with that as well. And we're in his hunting shack here running 5 watts with the ASU FT817ND radio and we have a PACTOR connection to a station in Maine from southwestern Virginia running 5 watts on the magnetic loop antenna here inside the hunting shack. Very impressive how this is working. This is uh, We just set this up about 15 minutes ago to show my buddy the antenna and got a connection there. So you can see the radio is communicating even with strong interference or QRM from a distant station. We still got a connection on the laptop here. Sending and receiving HF email with the PACTOR modem, the ASU FT817ND. Very impressive. By the way, this is the high efficiency loop with the aluminum loop. My previous video had the coax loop. This is the high efficiency loop, which I'm sure is actually helping right now being indoors and having that strong interference station there on the channel. And we're going to do more videos on this this weekend. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with a real short video to show you how well this antenna performs. Thanks for watching, guys. And just a little addendum here, guys. We're able to connect with another station again, running just 5 watts with the HF modem. You can hear the connection taking place in the background. At PACTOR 3 speeds, 1400 bits per second, HF radio on the loop antenna here inside the building. This is really performing well this evening, which works out really well because we have no cell phone service. So in the event of an emergency, we could actually send email right here tonight. Very cool antenna. Again, thanks for watching, guys.